With Alex, look, I was really inspired by the My Looking Glass lip glass and the deep wine. So I kind of like to do things a little bit different and go outside of the box. So I just kind of took like a couple different brushes, like a fluff brush and like a flatter one. And I just, you can see that I'm working it in because I just wanted in the inner of her eye spraying out around it, but still blended. So I'm just working it in deeper, closer into her eye and then kind of fading out essentially. You just continue to keep working it how, you know, depending if you want it all over your lid, if you only want a little, like you can vary this in many, many, many ways to be more practical. I will say one tip is um, if you look forward while you're doing it, if you want to pull it up against your eye, it'll help um, so you know where your shape is on your eye. Work with whatever product that is already on your brush and that will help you not oversaturate the look. To help blend it, um, I took a really, really dense small brush and kind of worked it in so the lines weren't so rough and like aggressive. So I kind of just kept pulling it out and just readjusting the shape so both eyes matched and also, you know, the desired depth. What I wanted to do after creating this like really cool eye look, um, I took YSL's burgundy mascara and just, you know, I gave her like a really cool burgundy eyelash because black would have been a little too intense and it's just funner like why not have burgundy eyelashes like why not like you're still girly you still have definition but like it's cool i'm just adding a little warmth into um her cheeks it's like this orangey it's from charlotte tillery as well another part um it's just a really gorgeous orange just so you know add that little color because it's like a really girly kind of look it's like that girly downtown kind of look so we have to add a little sculpting in really really light though like a natural sculpt so i just added a little bit of the my looking glass um highlighter on the outsides of the eye to just to help blend it and again not make it look so rough um make it look smooth and honestly and just a highlight on the edge of that it really sparkles and shines and kind of blends these like metallics all together so the lip i just kept really beautiful nude a little bit more on the matte side just to keep it really clean and a really girly fun look since i, I applied the first um, color which was really nude and then i stepped back and i looked and i was like you know what i want a little bit more depth so I just took my Looking Glass lip liner and worked that into the corners. And um, and then you can see me just buffing it in because it's important to have more of that um, definition but not such an aggressive line. And I just love the colors of Berry so it's enough of, you know, a little pop. Um, and then I just kept, I just added a little bit, um, you know, a little bit more lip gloss like in the middle just to have that shine I thought actually at the end of the day like that was a lot more beautiful and just had her mix it all in so it was just beautiful flawless kind of clean element with just like that slight edge. <laughs>